Tiger Woods is facing two lawsuits filed by his ex-girlfriend Erica Herman. One is an attempt to nullify their NDA. The other is trying to get money from Tiger's trust. CNN's Gene Casares is following this for us. Gene, what's the story? What's going on here? Well, this has to do with their relationship. Now, legal documents say they were together for six years. They broke up in October. He asked her to break up, mm -hmm. and he asked her to leave the house, according to the defense. Well, she is saying, no, no, no. I had an agreement that I could continue living in the home. It was an oral tenancy agreement that I actually negotiated with the trust representatives because the home is in a trust. And he is saying, I invited you into the home to live there with me, but when we broke up, I uninvited you and I asked you to leave. Now she is going on to say, and she's asking for an excess of $30 million mm. in all of this. She's also stating that when she was still living in the house, that they actually took her belongings out. She was gone. They took her belongings out. They told her that she needed to pack her bags, that she had to take a trip. And so she went to the airport. At the airport, they said, you are now locked out. You are not wanted in that home anymore. You cannot go back to that home. They had attorneys, and these are the trust representatives to help her negotiate a, a, a deal so that she wouldn't be left without a home. But she is stating they also misappropriated $40,000 of her cash. Now, that's the first lawsuit right there. The second one is because the defense was saying there is a non-disclosure agreement, and this has to go within that. There is arbitration. It is confidential. You signed it in 2017. And she is saying, nope, nope, with this second suit just filed. She is saying this should be null and void because of two statutes. Mm -hmm. The Ending Forced Arbitration of Sexual Assault and Sexual Harassment Act of 2021 and the Federal Speak Out Act. She's not saying anything else, but federal law says if you have allegations of sexual abuse, you can't do it in this, this secretive uh, non-disclosure agreement environment. Yeah. Now, that's where we are at this point. But in the initial suit, she had to mark a box is this anything to do with sexual abuse? It was no. So between October and now, that no has become a yes. Yeah. And what this means, we don't know. So, okay, let me help try to understand this. She wants to stay in the home, yes. although they're not together. Right. And Tiger and his kids still live in that That's home. That's what the defense is saying in their filings, yeah. yes, that they still live in the home. So what's next? Well, what's next is to have a response to this uh, NDA issue right here to see if it still has to stay within. Because she says in her filings that she's got a lot of things that she wants out. She's got some recordings of herself. She has things she's told friends. She has some written things she wants out. And she wants this out of the NDA. The defense is saying this is a lot of gamesmanship going mm -hmm. on right here. And this is not right.